nutshell, Tracy Farmer, Dean Garage Doors Limited, dealing with life's ups and downs, one garage door at a time. Uh, it's Mark Tomlinson, WPA, uh, Western Providence Association. I'm Angela. I'm an integrative therapist at Creative Depths Wellbeing Service. Yeah, hello there. My name's James Candow. I work for a company called Continuum. I look to make your financial future real. Because I didn't join CAP to sell garage doors. I am a naturally inquisitive person and I wanted to find out what was going on in the area and I wanted to connect with local businesses and I've done so much business with so many of the different CAP members over the years. Um, I don't necessarily see this as a, as a networking group um, in its traditional sense in that, um, is in that CAP gives me the opportunity to um, meet up with people online, um, talk to them about what it is that I do, um, listen to what it is that they do, and then use um, the, uh, the skills in the Zoom room as necessary. It's not really networking, it's more like a business community. So from it, you, you share ideas, you help each other, uh, you support each other. So if anyone's got any issues or wants support in a particular area, then you all sort of pull together to help them in that. I've got quite a long history of networking. I started in 2010 uh, when I first uh, started with WPA, having done 27 years in retail banking. Um, and there's lots about CAP that's similar to other networking I've done. Um, but there's also some differences as well. Um, I would say it probably feels very much like a, uh, like a family, really. Um, it's very supportive. Uh, you know, the fact that it's called Collaborate and Prosper isn't um, by accident. So um, what I like about CAP is that we're all small businesses um, and we all get on incredibly well. I think if you've never been to networking, you might have a preconception that it's all about um, people selling to you and being sold to. Um, and uh, that's really not the case because Anybody that uh, that attends a networking meeting, I think, that has that approach probably doesn't stay around very long because it's, it's not going to work, typically. Um, it's much more about building relationships and people buying from people that they know and trust over time. So my idea of networking was that it was be full of really pretentious, like, um, uh, cutthroat business people who'd be presenting their seamless persona to the world and very competitive. Yes, yeah, so I'd always avoided networking. That um, was very um, salesy driven, um, targeted. Um, that uh, that you had to you had to have made so many contacts a week, and if you didn't by the next week, you would be sort of shamed publicly with the rest of the group. Um, so those were the sorts of ideas that I had in my head, but the great thing about CAP is that it's nothing like that. Contacted by people at other networking groups who very much confirmed that view. And then my friend was involved in CAP and she said, oh, no, you know, come along. It's a really lovely group of people and you might find it helpful. So. I went along and that is exactly what it was um, and is. And I haven't really looked back. Um, yeah, but the model that I used to attend, I, I still can't remember the name of the group now, but it's incredibly formal. And if you couldn't make the meeting, you had to put somebody in your place and you had to go around and do a presentation. And, um, and it scared the living daylights out of me, to be honest. I didn't feel comfortable. It just didn't suit me as a person. Um, I genuinely was somebody that was struggling with aspects of the business that I didn't fully understand. And I wanted to reach out and find people that could help me. And I didn't feel as though I could in that kind of an environment. So I did. But the other preconceptions, I think, are that it's going to be expensive or that it's going to be boring and horrible to attend. None of that is true. It's A, it's not expensive. Um, it's very reasonably priced. Uh, and um, in terms of it being boring, I think you'll find that every member of CAP actually thoroughly enjoys coming to the meeting, in fact. I mean, I, I've done it, been a first time networker and I was worried, but uh, to be fair, everyone's really friendly. They're all rooting for you. Everyone's on your side. Um, you're not pressured to, to give business or give leads. It's just a case of getting together with like-minded individuals and helping each other's businesses grow. 
context, you can become quite isolated. And I'm from, I'm formerly from the corporate world, uh, many years ago before I had I had the kids. Um, so we had a HR department, we had an IT department, we had um, somebody sorting out payroll, um, you name it, sales department, marketing department, you name it. You have to wear all of those hats. Um, and it can be incredibly isolating and frustrating and difficult. And sometimes you just want somebody to go, do you know what? I've got the same problem. I'm taking on board those skills as and when I need them. And hopefully others are also taking on my skills as and when they need them. And therefore we all prosper. And that's the beauty of networking. You buy from people, you deal with people, you engage with people. So if you're if you're sitting there at home thinking I could really do with reaching out and I don't know where to start, CAP is a really friendly, um, informal place to go and make connections. Um, and we all trust one another, and that's what I love about it. But you still get great opportunities coming your way as a result of a, of a different approach. It's just nice to know that there are other businesses out there that you think are flying along at 100 miles an hour and you suddenly think, oh, actually, yeah, I've got that kind of problem as well. And you can. So what surprised me was um, the diversity of the people and also the their authenticity. The fact that these were real people, they weren't just holding up their business persona and relating on a very competitive level. There was a sense right from the beginning that this was a community of, um, of self-employed people who were coming together to support each other. So it's not just about uh, getting business, which obviously you do as well from doing it, but it's more about helping people and uh, becoming a business community to help people further their careers, their businesses, and help them grow. You know, there's a lot of collaboration. Um, and the, the fact that you can also visit a number of different um, different groups within the same club, um, it, it's not unique, because it was like that when I was in for networking, but it's, um, it's unusual. And it certainly works brilliantly within, within CAP. Uh, there are there are a number of groups. Uh, I'm a member of the Wednesday morning group, um, but I pop along to the other groups from time to time. Certainly, when I've got a new presentation that I've done for the Wednesday morning group, I'm often invited to do that to the other groups as well. I'm a Wednesday cap member, and um, I find that my um, that the eight o'clock cap meeting is uh, is my midweek fill up and gives me a uh, an energy boost and charge from that group right up and through to the end of Friday. We love CAP um, and there are people that have been in it for years and I'm sure will continue on for many years to come. So if I wanted to encourage someone to come along, I'd invite them to this community of diverse practitioners who are all looking to support each other, help each other out, have a laugh together, um, and really bring that kind of human and connected element to what can be quite a solitary um, profession, being self-employed. Not, not if you've got a team, but if you're a sole trader, then it can be. Now, CAP Business Club has been absolutely superb for me and, uh, and for my business. Um, and it's just a terrific, um, a terrific club of like-minded individuals, really, and businesses. I would say it's, it's the services that I've got from it. Obviously, I've got business from it, which is the whole point of, of doing it, but um, there's no pressure to do that. The, the get-together meetings um, once in a while, once every few months, and, and they normally nominate a charity, which I think is a fantastic thing to do. And we all get an opportunity to kind of throw some cash in, get some raffle tickets, have a few drinks together, um, and have a bit of fun, to be honest. Being able to have one-to-ones with people within the different cap groups who have skills that contrast mine has re really um, really benefited me and the confidence that I have in my business and the way that I put things out there um, yeah yeah so yeah it particularly has been the skill sharing aspect that has been beneficial. Paul's been great it's been a great help to my business going forward 
great ideas. Um, and also, I quite enjoy watching his band play as well. There's now, you know, the ability to do uh, CAP on Zoom um, means that I can I can network with a bunch of people uh, every week um, very easily. And then, as I say, from time to time, uh, you can pop along to the other clubs, uh, the other groups within the club. I see CAP as a network of friends and associates who come together to support each other, to skill share, sometimes to give leads and review each other's services and generally create a authentic, vibrant and caring business community. Uh, one of my uh, one of my friends' um, favourite quotes was always "Don't knock it till you've tried it," and um, and I think that applies to networking and certainly it applies to uh, to CAP. Um, I think if you've never tried networking, come along to the Discovery Day and you might find out a little bit more about it. You might be able to get rid of some of those um, preconceptions uh, that might might be uh, a touch off off the mark, I suspect. Um, and what have you got to lose? You know, a couple of visits to CAP is is, is free. Uh, all it's going to cost you is basically an hour of your time, um, and and see what it see what it's all about. Really, uh, you don't know un until you've been, and you might be you know not coming. You might be missing out on something. It's going to be a great boost for for your business and for you personally. <laughs>